All right. Uh, it is, uh, it's tempting when you look at this set of techniques to think that it's about shihonage and some variations on it, some different little tweaks and twists. And then at the end, they throw in two iriminagi, and you're like, wait, this was supposed to be about uh, shihonage, and then you got these iriminagis in there. So it's not really about shihonage, it's about release two. Okay, here we go. He grabs my arm this time, right? I walk up and glue my butt to his back of his hand, and then step next to him and uh, pull him down the line. Sometimes they uh, turn over like that. Sometimes they'll stand back up. Glue my butt to him, turn around, and when he stands back up, uh. right, so it's going to be Aikinagi. Glue my butt to him. Uh, I guess what differentiates this from the Aikinagi that you're used to because uh, you're still getting sort of that uh, arm bending backwards around your torso bit is uh, the action of this hand. If I can grab some hair or, uh, <laughs> or an earring or the back of his collar or something, I will do it. All right. So uh, once you glue him to your butt and turn, when he starts to stand up from this, put your elbow on his butt and then hammer him. All right? <laughs> Be a good uke okay so that you don't get hammered, right? All right? Play that and see how you like it. <laughs> 